here it is guys check it out accelerate your 3d render try render network for free guys check it out for free. i dropped seven files onto the render network to upload simultaneous you can upload a maximum of 10 files which is super convenient i'm working on this car render my second ever car render here the guys in my community have been pumping out some really cool car renders like we've got this super dope bike dope bike dope bike from one of our guys kenneth he just pumped out this thing here super dope it's like been getting me super motivated we got kamel who also definitely he shared out this tire and this shader tire or tire shader for all of us to use so we're all kind of like just helping each other with materials especially with blender octane it's hard to find materials so in the community we're all all pitching in like yo i got this hey i got this and we're sharing a bunch of assets together again check it out just some of the dope dope work that is going on in the blender octane community i'm really happy these guys are just absolutely crushing it and it's good to see i mean look at this other one from bruno here just absolutely fantastic and we've also figured out how to do an hdri dome in blender octane yes it's it's a thing we we've got it down that's pretty cool we got several different versions ways of doing it one with an osl script and another one just like this here here is a quick look at the hdri dome setup i will be releasing a full video here on the channel about how to do this and how to set it up it's not that difficult it's i'm, I'm like it's really easy i'm so mad that i didn't know about this sooner ago the, my main reason for bringing this video out is again guys i i'm just like the power of this rendering network is absolutely fantastic and i just want you guys to realize i do have free credits for you guys take a chance at it take a look at it you've got like like 30 something credits free to render out your own and test it out on the render network i'm knocking out shots that will take pretty much all day to render and i'm able to get like i've knocked out three shots in about 25 minutes like boom all three of them are done and now i've already exported them out here it is guys check it out accelerate your 3d render try render network for free guys check it out for free you're only one step away from transforming your workflow whether you're using blender octane cinema 4d houdini or unreal engine will help you cut your render times down by 90 percent and it's true at a fraction of the cost of traditional setups why the render network faster and cheaper rendered 3d scenes in minutes instead of hours days or with our overpower with our powerful gpu network try it for free 30 what is that yen 30 not yen i'm yen i'm in japan what is that 30 euros or something 30 credits in 30 bleep, bleep, bleep. <laughs> free credits enough to render 300 frames or 30 seconds of animation depending on your project drop your email right here grab your free credits get 30 free credits guys come on like it come on it's free it, it's a brainless like try it out if you don't like it then walk away it's free okay so all my files are basically uploaded so let me quickly show you how to create a job it's not that difficult here here is one that i got here this mid wall pass so what i'm going to do is create a job once we do that all my settings it basically exported them from blender when i did an orbix file it's all ready to go it's got my samples i got 500 samples 1920 by 1080 with 0 to 60 uh, uh 69 on the frames there that's all good advanced option rtx enable beauty pass denoising pass render passes okay everything's set now i'm going to select my exr file here and the exr that i'm going to use is going to be a dwa compression which can be smaller than a png i want it to be a multi-layered exr I means it's going to hold all the passes in one file instead of separate files 16 bit that's okay everything's okay there go ahead and continue on to the networks now i need to select my priority mode do i want to uh, do i want it to be more faster and quicker response as far as waiting time it costs more or if i can go ahead and click on economy this is a short little render i only got 69 frames i'm going to keep an economy i don't want to clog up the network uh blah, blah blah right other than that silk economy keep all this stuff the same here i'm going to scroll down and go to continue my estimate and i know it takes 30 seconds of frame because i was doing test frames to see what they were looking like my scene was looking like it's going to cost me at economy 0 0.07 render credits or if you go to priority 0.14 now if you're using my free uh 30 credits milk them out to the end go economy just milk your credits out right okay everything else is ready to go create job and just like that boom it's going to start uploading everything and getting it ready now once it's like starts you know everything is ready to go we go here and click in here here are all the frames and they're basically going to look for a gpu to render those out now this is where it takes a little bit of time because it you know i didn't go priority but it's still 
faster than me sitting here rendering out each frame i guarantee you that so if i got one already is going in process here you can see it look there it is it's like the thing has only been going for about two two minutes three minutes about and i'm almost done like check it out you click on here this will tell you okay you need to accept this frame and, or review this frame you can click on it and make sure like the frame looks good and everything looks okay you don't have any weird artifacting mm, that looks sweet i love it scrum dillyumptious right that looks good or you can do once your frames are all done and ready to go you could just do this play play video and it'll do like a, a playback and this is what i normally do once they're all finished just to make sure you don't get any weird artifacting like a blank like only maybe one time i've had one frame that kind of went gray all i did was just go back and re-render that frame and everything was fine but other than that i rarely had had any issues so so far this looks pretty good and it lets me know hey you're only looking at 32 out of 70 frames so it's skipping the frames but that's no big deal we'll jump back over here i'll let that finish out and once that's finished just like here We'll go ahead and just accept this. This looks great. Okay, tire pullback. I will just go here and click on downloads. And then this is what I want to download. All frames, zero to 69. And I want all my passes. I'll click on download config. And then you can download here in your browser. And I have this handy dandy render network. I'm not sure if this is going to be, if this is available to the public yet or not. So I won't even really talk about till I find that if it is. It's just a quick little thing that allows me to download them all here and download them a little, a little bit faster. But you'll just download it here in your browser and then you should be all ready to go. Enough said. If you guys are interested in learning more about Blender Octane, I'm giving also out a seven day free trial to my Blender Octane school. Links down below. If you can't afford it, check out the Discord. I got lots of free stuff there. Can't afford that because Discord's free. I don't know why you can't afford that. But I also have a Gumroad with a bunch of free assets and free stuff on there. So I'm trying to help out everybody. You got a little bit of money, you, got, you can join in. If you don't got no money, I still got you guys. I'm out. Patrick LeVar. Peace.